FirstStepReading.com. FirstStepReading.com. And we're going to learn together today. Today is Tuesday, June 9th. And we're going to do some calendar, science, math, and literacy together. Let's start with the calendar. How many months are in one year? These are our months. How many are in one year? There are 12 months in one year. Let's read them together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the 12 months in one year. What month is it today? What month is it today? If you have this, oh, close here. The month is, so we're doing this one. What month is it today? This is available for free to print on the website. You can do it along with us. The month is, you said July, it's not July, it's J. June. So everyone circle June. Now we're going to figure out what day it is in June. Okay, let's count together. Stand to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What number comes after eight? Nine. Nine. Is it going to be a black nine? No. Or a red nine? Let's see. Our pattern is counting by fives because it's an A, 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 B pattern. Stand to the side so they can see two. And we have so far black, 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 red, black, black, black. What comes next? Is one, 
tomorrow. Today our number is nine. Okay, let's figure out our letter of the day. Q R. Good. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. R. Good job. So let me write an uppercase R. Like this. And a lowercase r. And they both make the sound. It's like two letters, the uppercase and lowercase. And they both make rrr, like race car, rose, rabbit, right? All those words start with the r sound. Rrr, rabbit. Rrr, rabbit. Right? Rrr. So let's do our days of the week. So you now need your other paper if you're doing it along with us. Haley. So this one's your daily calendar and this one says days of the week. So we're now on this side. We're going to do today is first. So let's do that. Shh. Haley, no. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is Tuesday. So both the very first question I answer for you. Find Tuesday, Haley. Everyone, find Tuesday on your paper. Uh, what letter does t -t Tuesday start with? It starts with the letter T. Find it on your paper. Comes after. No, it's not a TH. It's not. TH says. You should have circled Tuesday. Good job. Tomorrow. Oh, yesterday was. The next question asks. Yesterday was. What day was it yesterday? Monday. Circle Monday on your paper. M -m Monday. Why Monday? M You're on this box. Not yesterday was. Circle M -m Monday. And tomorrow will be what day comes after Tuesday. Wednesday. What? What? Wed. It looks like a wed Wednesday. Wednesday. Good job. So those are our days of the week. There are seven days in one week. Now we're going to talk about seasons and weather. What is the weather like where you live? You can go check your window real quick. And if you have your weather graphing, we're going to do that now. Haley, can you check the window right here? See the weather? Okay. The season is still spring. Can you tell me something about spring? Remember, you guys did your five senses of spring. What you saw, what you heard, what you smelled, what you tasted, and what you touched in spring. You can see baby animals. You can hear birds chirping or bees. You can smell flowers. You can taste new fruits. And you can maybe touch puddles or worms or bugs in the spring. The next season will be summer where it will get very hot. Then it will start to cool down in the fall and the leaves will change colors and they'll fall off the trees. And then in the winter it is very cold and it snows in some places. So Haley, you said what the weather is today? What is it? What is the weather today? What is our weather? Hot or warm? Is it swimming weather? Hot and sunny? Okay, I'm so she's 
she says it's not windy, we only could pick one. Whatever, if it's mostly sunny, we say sunny. If it's mostly windy, we say windy. If it's really rainy, we say rainy. If we can't see the sun, we say cloudy. If it's warm, like it's hot but not swimming weather, we say warm. If it's cool where we need a jacket, we say cool. And if it's freezing, we say cold. Usually it's not snowy in the, in the spring. That's more for the winter, right? Well, you need to figure out what the weather is where you live, and then you graph it. Kaylee, you wanna graph our weather? You said hot and sunny. Can you graph that, please? On the graph, right here. Right, while she's doing that, we're gonna move on to math. Math is, when, is a different subject where we talk about numbers or shapes or patterns. And today we're gonna to be working on tally marks. I think I'm going to you on this thing. Counting by twos and fives in our 10th grade. So let's start by counting by twos. If you have your counting by two sheet, you can take it out. And you can do, use that while we're counting. Haley, you want to read this while I'm reading that one? Only the black numbers you read. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. Of a butterfly. So 
So a butterfly starts as an egg, then it, it hatches from the egg, right? And it turns into a caterpillar. Then it builds a chrysalis or a cocoon around itself. And while it's inside, it transforms into a, a, butterfly. a butterfly. And this process is called metamorphosis. Can you say that? Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is the process of an animal changing its form. These are our two words we're learning about. Metamorphosis is this process of a caterpillar transforming to a butterfly. Other animals that go through metamorphosis are frogs. They start off as tadpoles, kind of like fish that swim in the water, then they grow legs, they lose their tail, and they become frogs that live mostly on the land. So they do metamorphosis. And also flies, they start off as larvae, which are like worms, and then they grow wings and they turn into flies. So metamorphosis is when they completely transform in their lifespan. Another vocabulary word is chrysalis. Chrysalis is the fancy word for cocoon. So instead of saying cocoon, you could try to practice saying chrysalis. That the caterpillar built a chrysalis. Good job. That is the life cycle of a butterfly. Some ways you can practice learning about this is you can read this book by Eric Carl, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It talks about the life cycle of a caterpillar. You can make your own life cycle of a caterpillar. Haley did it with a cotton ball, pom-poms, and construction paper. You can do our cut and paste sheet online and you can fill in the life cycle. You cut these out and you glue them all on on the right spot. And we have um, a chart you can look at to help you. You can print that out. You can also draw the life cycle of a caterpillar. Haley drew it. She drew her egg. She drew her caterpillar. She drew her cocoon or chrysalis. And then on the back she drew the butterfly. So you can do that also. Practice this week using the words metamorphosis, chrysalis, and drawing your life cycle of a butterfly. That's our science for this week. Keep practicing that. Now we're going to move on to literacy. Literacy is writing and reading. Let's go. Haley, do you want to do the sight words today? Yes. If you have your sight words, you can read them along with Haley. Here, you can use this. Stand up and read them. Yell it when 
when you're reading. So this is two sentences because there's two punctuations at the end. And we start both with a capital letter. We're, we're practicing our ah, ah, and ought word families. Ah, like st, ah, ah, like b, ah.
this is Heather from FirstStepReading.com. Please subscribe to our channel on YouTube at First Step Reading. Like us on Facebook at First Step Reading. And follow us on Instagram at www.firststepreading.com. Thank you for watching our videos. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please reach out to us on Facebook, Instagram, or on our channel. Thank you and have a great day.